yeah. April 6th, still snowing outside. That's pretty crazy. It's gonna be a short update. I didn't get much done. Today would mark, what is it, seven and a half weeks since my surgery. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I got done just before the surgery and then I'll probably show up, I'll probably throw up some x-ray pictures just so you guys what, what's going on with me. Um, <clears throat> moving around is very difficult. Uh, was not a very, it was not a minor surgery. It's pretty serious surgery. Uh, you're gonna see the x-rays. So I'll let you know when, the, when I'm gonna be showing the x-rays, just in case if you guys are queasy or not too comfortable about seeing those kinds of things, uh, so you guys can stop the video and go to something else. Uh, I'm not gonna keep this video up for very long. This is only to show my subscribers and uh, people who've been supporting me about what's going on with me. Um, I've tracked huh, over 260 subscribers, guys. That's amazing. Thank you so much for uh, sticking with me. All right, so let's go ahead and see what I did just before the surgery. All right, so as you can see on the passenger or the high speed line, I'll pan out a little bit. Um, I started ballasting. I realized that I did not finish with the ties. You can see in this area right here, I didn't finish putting in the ties. So I started, pulled back a little bit, started uh, ballasting there. I really didn't get much done. It goes around the power plant and it just stops right at the cliffs there, at the cutout. Uh, right about there, where the light switch is just before. Looked pretty good. So, all right, so that's pretty much all I did for the layout. Just before the surgery, um, I had to get a lot of things done and prepared for that. Uh, uh, I was actually out for a while. Warning, uh, this may disturb some viewers, so if you guys are not, there, if you guys are not comfortable about seeing x-rays, then um, yeah, I'm gonna probably say, might wanna stop the video right about here and probably go watch something else because I'm going to throw up my x-rays and show you guys uh, what was done to me. And you can see right here the back brace that I was wearing. But along here is my spine. And if you look closely right here, let's zoom in. This was the vertebrae that I damaged. Um, you could see at this point it was like I think 27 degrees. And then about six months later it collapsed even more to 30 degrees. And uh, because of this being like a door wedge, it threw my spine into a really bad deformity right here. Uh, okay, now this is for after the surgery. So this is what they did to me. This is uh, front side. So they ended up putting in two bars and drilling in eight bolts. Uh, I think this is about maybe between five to six inches long on each side. And then this is it here from the side profile. Um, as well as putting in the hardware in me, they also shave down the vertebrae that's right here. It looks like what's happening here is that the, the, this is the T12 and then the T11 vertebrae. Looks like it's going to be fused together. And then the rest of the bolts are just holding the T10 and the L1 and L2 vertebrae. Then along here, you can see I had staples for stitches. I had 50 staples. Let me tell you, that was a lot of fun taking that out. All right, guys, sorry to uh, gross you out, but this is what I've been dealing with, and uh, it's a slow recovery. All right, guys, until next time, keep on modeling. Take care.